Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about a very specific predictive rule that is used in Vedic astrology to foresee the future. And what this is, is we look at the new moon in Pisces and draw up a chart to see what's going to be happening for the entire year from the time of this new moon in Pisces to the next new moon in Pisces, which will be in 2017. The new moon in Pisces will always occur between March 14th and April 14th. And during this time when the sun and moon come the exact conjunction, this is the new moon and this is when we look at where all the other planets are relative on this day to see where things are going in the world. Western astrologers look at the new moon in Aries because that is the beginning of the tropical Western charts. They look at Aries as the beginning of the zodiac, but because of procession, because the stars and the constellations have been moving slowly backwards through the zodiac, we know that astronomically the beginning reference point of the zodiac is now in Pisces. It has reverted back from Aries and currently in the year of 2016, it is approximately around six degrees of Pisces. This is the starting point of the zodiac. Therefore, we look at when the new moon occurs in Pisces to see where the year is going and how we can make our predictions for this, this entire year. But to see where these things that we may see in this chart are occurring, we need to look and put in different locations into this chart. So different locations around the world will change the areas of this chart that these planetary patterns were, will fall for the year. So we're going to be looking at different countries in terms of this chart what houses the planetary arrangements will fall into. So first of all, talking about where the planets are, this is April 7th of 2016 that we have the new moon in Pisces. The new moon will be 23 degrees, 59 minutes of Pisces, and we have Uranus, 26 degrees of Pisces, very tight with this new moon. So what does this mean? Uranus is a planet of change, disruption, rebellion, sudden unexpected events, and this will flavor this entire year. Now the other aspect that's been going on throughout this year is the fact that Rahu and Ketu, Ketu is in Aquarius and Rahu is in Leo, very close to Jupiter, and this depicts a change in world leadership around the world because Jupiter is in Leo and Leo deals with kings and rulers. Rahu is change, but it can be very disruptive. And as you know, this is kind of the flavor that's taking on this year. And in the United States of America, there are the presidential elections that will occur within this time. Neptune is also opposing Jupiter but conjunct K2 within this year. And this, re this means things that are secret, things that are hidden will be revealed. Corruption, uh, things where people are lying or cheating. This will be where things will come out of the dark and into the light and be uncovered. But K2 Neptune, remember, is always about spirituality. And this is the year that individually there will be spiritual advancements, there will be technological advancements, and there will be scientific advancements as well, according to this chart. Now, of course, we have the Mars-Saturn Saturn that are coming together as a conjunction in Scorpio. And this creates all sorts of anger, disruption, war, and violence. Now, now that we know where all the where most of the planets' energies are located, let's plug this into different countries according to their longitude and latitude. And first, starting out with, I want to start with the United States of America, 
Washington DC because as I even charted from Washington to the West Coast in LA, there's a different chart because there's two hours difference in the time zones. So looking at Washington DC, I have to say, this is probably one of the worst uh, charts for countries. I, I have to be honest with you because looking at this chart, this puts the Mars-Saturn conjunction in the eighth house. And remember Mars being in Scorpio with Saturn is about violence, it's about war, it's about attacks. And in the eighth house, this is the house of change, transformation, and can sometimes, many times re represent death. It can also be death of the economy or death of something going on in this country. It And Washington DC is the center of politics and where the president lives and all that rules the United States. So this is a very treacherous year because the moon, the new moon in Pisces that is conjunct Uranus is in the 12th house. And the 12th house is about secrets, uncovering things, but it can also deal with secret enemies. And this can deal with attacks that may happen unexpectedly in places never, never revealed or thought of. So this is all the uncovering of unexpected events that could deal particularly with danger and, and could be attacks and definitely could have the result of lives lost. I notice also in this chart that Mercury is exactly on the ascendant in this chart. And Mercury being on the ascendant is reminiscent of the chart that I reviewed for September 11th, 2001. Mercury on that date and time of the transiting chart was the exact degree of the ascendant and therefore this means that it's relative to something that deals with transportation and so there could be attacks relative to transportation whether it's air uh, mass transportation buses trains anything to this effect there could be a terrorist attack so the united states has uh has things to be cautious of and when I go to the next country I want to look at is Russia. I pulled it up for Moscow. And in this chart, we happen to have the Mars and Saturn are in the fourth house. Many times when you put malefic Mars and particularly conjunct Saturn represents extreme setbacks, delays, problems, and violence in the fourth house, it could mean something happens on the homeland, something happens to the country. And so this could be a tax pertaining to this country's land, things occurring on the land. And the new moon, which is conjunct Uranus, is in the eighth house. So you see the eighth house is the house that could deal with death and also a troubled economy because it deals with uh, the masses and and money that is that is government owned so there's going to be problems and i get if anything happens that is a huge blow to the united states it will have a domino effect as it did in september 11th to globally to the world and so i'm looking at russia as being a, a place where there's there's great difficulty the next one i wanted to look at is india so i pulled up mumbai and the Jupiter Rahu are right on the ascendant of this chart. And it does also throw um, planets in the eighth house. But the fact that Rahu is on the ascendant represents there's a certain fate and a certain destiny that will occur uh, with looking at India. And the sun moon conjunction new moon with uranus is in the eighth house so this also represents a downturn in the economy and possible problems with leaders because when you look at the new moon with uranus 
and it's in the eighth house of problems, financial problems, debts, and presidents and leaders, there is a major issue and a downturn and possible deaths. And I, and I get with India, it could have something to do with violent storms and uh, shakeups, but severe weather as well. I pulled up um, Iran and I was looking at this chart and it's very similar. It's similar to India and Russia. That part of the world is going to be very affected economically by what is happening throughout the globe. It is sort of like a domino effect. When I pull up the new moon chart for for the United States, looking at the central time zone, uh, it looks like this is going to be a place that will benefit and have more power. So I pulled it up for Dallas, Texas. I'm here locally in Dallas. And within this, this new moon chart, we have the new moon that is in the first house. So this is reminiscent of some kind of power or probably with this, the economy will be more powerful in the central time zone in the United States than is affected by the Eastern. And looking at Los Angeles, California, looks like money will be uh, a roller coaster ride because the new moon in Pisces with Uranus is in the second house of finances and money. So it looks like on the Western coast, there's going to be uh, major repercussions financially. Maybe this is due to the, the extremes in the weather that they've been having or earthquakes. So be aware. When I look at the new moon chart for China, particularly Hong Kong is what I keyed in, you're going to find that the Mars and Saturn are in the second house. There are setbacks, delays, major setbacks and delays financially in the Chinese markets. Watch this global trend happening because when China has these problems, it reflects throughout the world. So the Mars Saturn in the second house causes setbacks, problems in the financial markets. And looking at their sixth house, which deals with debt, the sun, moon, Uranus is in the sixth house. Major debts creates major problems in the, in the world financially for China, as well as when I look at Japan, Japan has still the same setup with the Mars Saturn in the second house and the new moon with Uranus in the sixth house of debts and financial problems. So, Europe. I pulled up Paris, around Paris and, and Central Europe. We've got the Jupiter Rahu in the second house dealing with finances and money. But Uranus with the sun and moon are in the ninth house. This is representing their, their laws, their regulations, and travel. So traveling is can be treacherous and possibly dangerous out of certain certain places in Central Europe. And governments will change. The government's leadership, because this is the ninth house, it deals with laws and leaderships. But a lot's going on, and I think it will change things for the better in the long run. So looking for Turkey, Istanbul. Uh, I noticed that also, as well as Central Europe, it still has the Jupiter Rahu. They're trying to get their feet on the ground economically because with all the terrorism and problems going on in the world, this has affected their finances and their, their economy severely because of tourism. People aren't traveling to uh, Europe as they used to and there is so much turmoil going on in the Middle East and this is reflective of their economical problems throughout the Middle East and Europe. So that brings us back to um, I want you to understand that we're a global world. Everything that happens everywhere affects every country at large and this is a year of global violence disruption and chaos 
and people are looking to find new leadership, which is hard to come by because people are fearful and what is being reflected in the masses is fear, is violence, is anger, and there has to be a great resolution that will occur within this year. This is all reflected in this new moon Pisces chart. This is a monumental, monumental year for change and it has to happen in order for our children and our children's children to have a much better world. This is the turning point. You'll see times are changing. With that information, uh, if you would like more, please go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And if you would like a personal reading, you can also go to schedule a reading. And I look forward to seeing you in future YouTubes. Thank you.